direction I chose my university as a concept because I'm older than most of my, all of my batchmates and I went through a very deep transformation in the last three years in my life um, and I wanted to, I always work best when the emotions are involved and so I thought it was best to take myself as a conceptual story. Basically in my collection how we started was uh, a caged bird, a story of a caged bird, finally uh, being released into the open um, with broken wings. But ultimately, the bird, she rises as a phoenix from our ashes. So that's the basic concept of my story that I uh, brought into my work. And how I explored this concept was um, uh, I wanted to explore femininity because me personally I was a very um, guarded, uh, rigid person three years ago and with the transformation I uh, got in touch with my feminine self uh, so it was more my becoming into myself uh, that was translated so uh, in the story of femininity uh, I was, I, um, I like to paint and draw, so I thought the female anatomy, specifically the female genitalia, was like uh, the, my focal point for my service pattern because um, in, in a spiritual context, uh, a woman's woman body is a portal from one reality to another. So, um, to explore the feminine aspect of a woman, um, I took the flower, Victoria flower, which kind of symbolizes the woman's genitalia. And how I translated it into my Dharma series, um, uh, because I like to paint, I used uh, a lot of hand painted fabrics. So, we molded the hand painted on to the pattern pieces, my garments, uh, which was then constructed. I have used a lot of um, hand painted textiles in my collection, um, mostly cotton mills because, because my concept was myself, my muse was basically me. Um, I personally I love cotton, so I wanted to work with, a, uh, with cotton fabrics. So there were different variations of cottons that I have used uh, in my collection. Apart from the hand painting, I have used real lace. I originally wanted to uh, create my own lace with the Victoria flower motifs. But when I started working with the artisan to create my lace, I uh, found out that this lady has also been a single mom. And I wanted to kind of, um, because my Concept that my collection was all about the mother. I wanted to do something that would kind of add um, value. So she showed a lot of her uh, work, a lot of her days that's been just lying around without her being able to do anything with it because of the situation in the country. So I suggested that I use um, her dead stock lace and work with that instead. So I was able to actually uh, create my own textiles by combining a lot of the old lace and then dyeing them to get the desired effects and then uh, I used a lot of weaver to um, and um, speaking about uh, my uh, garments, the silver swings that I apply in my and I have my final outcome by the collection is a collection of um, large, like, vintage lingerie inspired loungewear and I've done a collection of uh, garments for curvy real women. 